Hello and welcome. My name is Peter Vaughan and I'll be doing video clip number one here of a subject that I'm passionate about. It's called Letrology. Letrology is the study of time. Backwards, present and forwards. It means that I can measure time and what happens in the past, present and future as if they were all at any particular time right now because I can look at it as if it's movable. So here we are going through time from 217 to 2034 at the other end there. I put that up so I can show you that we move through time. We stay still, but we sort of move through time. Because wherever we, we are, wherever we are, it's now. Here's a little skateboard of you racing through 2019 and here's 220. Now, where are you going? Well, I don't know, I'm just going into next year. Hey, I've made my uh, New Year's resolutions and I'm going for it. But have you looked at what the road ahead's like? Ah, cool. It's all right. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I've got an overseas trip. It's all sorted. And then somebody asked me, what's 220 like? Because 219 was kind of crappy. This actually happened. So I did a story on it on my website, peterborn.net. And if you go down there, you'll see there's a little gold bullion uh, image or picture and a story below it because I said 2020 is like double death. They said what? Double death. Why? Well the word death here and 2020 have something in common. They both add up to the number two. Four, five, one, two and eight. Those are the values of the letters that we have in our alphabet. Our alphabet has a linking with its numerical position of each letter, the structure of each letter. It doesn't matter if you don't know that. It's what I have studied and what I, what I teach in my courses. There's a little key for you. No matter what letter you add up there, they will always come to that number on the bottom. We know in the 26 letters of our alphabet, Z or Z is the 26th letter. 2 plus 6 equals 8. U is the 21st letter, 2 plus 1 is 3. So this is just a key to help you without going through the motions of how all this works. So I can come up with some answers here for you and save you from running through it. But that's what death is then. Fourth letter, fifth letter, first letter, 20th letter, T. Uh, where are we? 2, T right there. So that's 9 letters, that's 18 letters, 18 plus 19 and 20. We just add them up that way. So that's where the numbers come from. If we add that up, 4 and 5 is 9, 10, 12, and 8 equals 20. Is that a coincidence? No. If I was to go back to Egypt, for example, where they had the, the word for death was ka. And it re represented uh, in an image a, a, a bird with a man's head on it and a a black, like a moon, black moon or a black, black ball in front of it. And that was the image for death and they called it Ka. That's the 11th letter of the alphabet, the 8th letter and the 1st letter. I could reduce that to 2, 8 and 1. Because if I go 2 and 8 is 10 and 1 is 11, which equals 2, I could also go 11 and 8 is 19 and 1 is 20, which also equals 2. So we have something that we haven't really looked at in life, and that's why I've called it Latrology. It's the understanding of how letters affect us. To provide evidence for that, you have to go into the brain and find out how the brain works at a, a level called the amygdala. It's an organ in the brain uh, next to your hippocampus, which is literally your memory. Memory and this other part work together to create emotions which cause you to do things. And the emotions come from images in the mind. So when somebody says there was a death in the family, people all of a sudden get concerned and frightened because of the wording we've just used that gives us that image. So the language that we have controls us, hence the word latrology. Now, and it's got no E in it, by the way, no E there. It's not letterology, it's latrology. So if death equals 2020, oh sorry, 20, what about the word decay? Because death and dying, it's the same kind of thing like car here. So I could go 4 and 5 and 3 and 1 and 7. 
because Y just happens to be the 25th letter of the alphabet, and 2 and 5 is 7. So we've got 4 and 5 is 9, 3 is 12, 1 is 13, and 7 equals 20. This is not coincidence. I've been doing this study for over 40 years nearly. That's a hell of a long time. So then 219 going to 220 was a double death year. This thing came along, didn't it? And if I said that this thing was a planned demic, uh, I have every reason to say that. And I know a lot more about this than most people do. Only because of the research that I do with this particular product, up here with Latrology, nothing can be hidden from another person. It's because our brains have been programmed with language. Once you understand the program, you can literally reverse engineer it. And this is what I've done. So let's have a look at what COVID-219 is. And COVID, of course, was short for coronavirus, which is your common cold, a flu, whatever. But they called it COVID-219. 219, not just COVID-19. That's short for 2019. So the letters 3, 6, 4, 9, and 4. 2 plus 1 plus 9. 2 and 1 is 3, and 9 is 12 which reduces to 3. COVID then, 3 and 6 is 9, 9 and 4 is 13, plus 9 is 22, and 4 is 26. And 2 plus 6 equals 8. Now what does 8 plus 3 equal? Well, it equals 11 or 2. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. Here's the, here's the, the, the gist of all of this. You're going through life, and this is an absolute crap year ahead. And hence my story about it in, in, the, in my website. If I take off then, just these, um, as I've done here in this bit of working, so I can go on a bit further. Oops, I rubbed out my bridge. I have the word bridge there. Can you get over it? Can you escape this? Yes, you can. How? By knowing what's ahead, what if you knew what lay ahead? <laughs> Would that help you to make decisions? Probably. Can you change the future? Yes, you can. If you have been of my age era and seen the, uh, the series of movies called Back to the Future with uh, Marty and Doc, a really funny but interesting film nonetheless they travel into the future and see what's gone wrong in the future by what's happening now in the present and they have to go back into the past to fix it it's comical but it matches with this so here we are in 220 what therefore is 2021 like because right now it's december december of 2020 can i predict what's coming up next year yes i can when you're looking at the first part 20, we've still got that there, which is your death side, and then you've got this 21, and 21 represents like a regrowth. It's, it's kind of like uh, life or living. And when you have that, it's I could write down, for example, if that's death, as we knew, then that's got to be, in my case, birth. Something has to die for something to be reborn. And I've got it kind of petering out, excuse the pun, having a Peter in my name, but I've got a jaggedy kind of a year here representing the terrain, so therefore when this little skateboard comes over here to 2020, 2020 and it's not prepared, you might have seen people on skateboards and just cruising along and just having a great time, and then they come across some ripplings in the road, so they've literally got to bend their legs to match it, so they go down and they like this, they're kind of like going over, over the rough, then they come back on the, on the smooth again. This is what happens in your life. We've gone through rough here. We've still not overcome this problem because this pandemic has polluted the world with fear, and that's the problem. Because people don't know something, they fear it. So let's have a look at uh, 2021 then. I've got the rippling here, and it's going to it's like a grainy kind of a, a rundown. In my view, this is what's going to be taking place because of the American elections. The fraud in the electoral systems throughout the world, uh, the revel revelation and revealing that this was fraud, 
and what will happen to all the people who committed the fraud. Uh, they should be shaking in their boots right now. So we've got this rough start. Here's your 20 and 21. Birth? Well, let's have a look at that. That's 21. That's a 3. 2, 9, 9, 2, and 8. 2 plus 9 is 11, and 9 is 20. 22 and 8 is 30. When I wrote the word car up there before, K-H-A for, for death, this is the, the word for life, for, for, for new life in Egyptology. And if you look at the letters B and 1, B and A, 2 and 1 equals 3. Isn't that interesting with death and car? Oops, car. Both equaling 2. And now we have a 3. So we've got this transition taking place. So can you change the future? Yeah, learn about it. If you learn about it, you won't step into a mud hole, you know, a deep water, go into a car crash, uh, get a vaccine in your arm. If you had knowledge of what was in those vaccines, because you don't know, you're trusting the people. Who, whoa, I better take that word out with a bleep. You're trusting the people who have committed you to believing what it is that they want you to believe. And you've got fear. What's fear? Now, everybody puts that acronym up, you know, fear is uh, uh, fear, false evidence appearing real. I think it was, yeah. But you've got 6, 5, 1, and 9. 6 and 5 is 11, 1 is 12, and 9 is 21. Fear is something that once you learn about, gives you birth. Once you understand it, you've now got freedom. So fear is a word to say, hey, look at what you're doing. Each letter actually means something. It's not just a letter, it's not just a shape. That represents taking responsibility. This says learn from experience. This says act on it. And this says with full knowing that you've done the right thing. That's what fear represents. If you were to come to one of my courses uh, or do the first course in, in Latrology, you learn about who you are, what your purpose in life is and where you're going, and what your skills and talents and characteristic tra traits are, and literally where you are in life right now. Advanced courses take you on a journey into the past, present, and future. So I'm going to clip, uh, clip this one off, and we'll go on to the next session. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, it's what I do when I teach, and if you'd like to get involved with some of this, get hold of me, petervaughan.net, and there's an email in there that I can pick up on, and you'll get me directly. Thanks for watching. Take care, because next year we can remove fear once you learn about it. And I've got a lot of support and help to give you the uh, information you need. So thanks for watching.